the trick I'm going to share with you people is going to change your way of planning, scheduling and tracking. This is very, very important. So pay attention what I'm going to deliver you people. A lot of people ask me this question that if we don't want to track our project as curves, cash flows in Primavera P6, because a lot of our higher ups, our higher management don't understand Primavera P6. So we need to deliver them as curves, cash flows in Excel to comfort them. So it is a big challenge for them that first you have to incorporate all of your data in Primavera P6 and then your higher ups, your managers are complaining that we don't understand Primavera P6. It's something very advanced. So how to take your data from here to Excel and make your S curves D2 copy as it is in Primavera P6. So it's very easy. These require few steps to execute to complete your S curve in Excel. So here we go. This is my project. So first of all, I need to convert this project into single line project. Now I have defined my project in WBS breakdown. So I have to use first of all my group and sort by feature which is given on top of here. Just click on this and just check over here WBS level one. I have to remove it. Either I have to go for none or C. Here is none option. I don't want any categorization. C apply. Now my project is a single unit. There is no WBS. Now the second step I have to apply is the usage of resource usage. No activities use a spreadsheet. So here you can click on activity usage spreadsheet on top of your header. See, and uh, once you will click on that, you will be given a drop down window, which is explaining your project spreadsheet in terms of C cost. Whatever you want to show your S curve, labor units, non labor units, whatever you want, you have to select over here. How to customize this window as per your requirement, I will show you now. Right click and spreadsheet fields. So, here major two options are given to you cumulative and time interval. The cumulative values are the values which are combined once till the data date, whereas interval values are only the values which are uh, uh, explaining you, which are narrating the specific time window details. Okay, I have explained these things in my other videos, and I'm also actually offering my Primavera P6 project planning, control, plan, shutdown, delay analysis, and claims management course training, you can also enroll there. So now actually I'm explaining this trick to you people. So here I need only cost. I will uh, prefer my time interval cost. If you need uh, some units, you can go there. There are units given as well here. See, uh, labor units, non-labor units, budgeted. See, you can go by your option. Got it? I have already budgeted to uh, total cost. Apply. Okay. Now the third step is to select all of this sheet, control A, make copy, control C, okay, just make me sure once again, control C, it's done. I have already opened up one my Excel sheet. I will create a new sheet over here and uh, you can see that like this way, okay. I need a little bit uh, formatting. I can change my time scale. I can change uh, my columns. This is all in your control, okay. So the first thing I have to apply formulas over here, see, first I have to add up these all are time interval values. I have to add all these values. See this one here, I have to make like this one. So this is should be colored. You can change your timeline on weekly basis, monthly basis. It is all in your control. So by doing this, I will not miss any box or any column. So now this one, over here, I will come, I will apply formula sum because I want to add all the values given in this area. See, and by doing this, I will be okay, enter, and I will spread this formula along my right side as well. See, up to this one. Formula is up, up, uh, applied already. Now I have to apply cumulative formula. The first value will come as it is with the is equal formula. 
and the second value will come with this previous value plus the above one given in the next window. And now spread this value as it is. See? Got it? So this should be your total project cost. That should be the verification of your project total cost. Okay? Now I need to make my S curve using, see, select your timeline like this way and select your cumulative value row. See this one here, control, keep pressing control on your keyboard. See, so that you can make your, all the steps to generate S curve. Now here is insert option, go there and make here like this one. See, this is your S curve. It's like bumpy. I think this is very steep and bumpy over here, but it's all given as per the data in this sheet. So that was the way you can generate your S curves on the basis of your cost spread, on the basis of your labor units, non-labor units, cumulative labor and non-labor, cumulative of all these resources or any other parameter you have already incorporated in your Pamagra P6. My name is Engineer Vakas Ahmed. Remember that name if you want to learn project planning control using Pramavra P6. I am offering these trainings with full dedication and along with these learning on Pramavra P6, I am going to tell you the best practices in construction industry, plant shutdown industry, delay analysis and claims management as well. So see you in my upcoming webinar. You can also join my webinars. Thank you very much.